<laughs> Let's do a bug review. Right then, welcome to a new one and uh, welcome to my new subscribers. I've gained one or two recently so that is really, really appreciated. I hope you stick around. Um, and for those who have been subscribed for a long time, thank you for staying around. It's again, really appreciated. Before we get into today's vlog, I'd just like to announce that I do have a, a Facebook group, Smaller photography channels on YouTube. It's based around channels like myself, uh, under 100, sorry, under 1,000 subscribers. It's just a way for us all to come together as a, as newbies, if you like, um, something that's new to us. I've been doing YouTube now for two years nearly, 18 months, two years. So I know a little bit about it. Uh, filming setups and and vlog setups and stuff like that. So this little group is somewhere for for newbies to to join in and get tips, get help, and get advice. Uh, or if you're thinking about going into YouTube yourself, where do you look? Well, this channel hopefully will will help you out there. It's also to showcase your your vlogs if if you do end up into YouTube and your images. Let's, I want to see images from all over the world. Um, it's growing quite good actually at the moment. So I've got 150 plus members and like I said they're worldwide. So it's fantastic. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying um, running the group just to see images from all over the world. I mean we're all stuck in doors at the moment. So that's given me something to, to focus on. But anyway, anyway. Today's vlog, I'm going to do a mini review if you like, I haven't really had the chance to review it properly because we're stuck indoors, but I've bought a new bag, a new camera bag, um, I just wanted to basically show you guys, um, it's a Ortex, I don't know if you can see that there, Ortex camera backpack. It's not your all singing, all dancing, big branded um, product. This isn't even a branded video. This is just, I paid for this. I'm not that good at YouTube just yet. So it's not a branded one. Well, it, Ortex, but personally, I've never heard of them. So I was taking a bit of a chance buying a non, non unknown branded one. But so far, I've had a, I've had a good look. I've had it maybe two or three weeks now and I've had a good look at it I've, I've scrutinized it everywhere um, it's quite it's quite solid we'll start off with my main feature the one bit I I'm really pleased about it's the um, the back opening it opens at the back this sits against your back this all this all padded area which we'll get into shortly, but this opens up on your back, like so. Again, we'll get into the inside shortly, but that for me is security per, um, peace of mind. Excuse me, I've got a bit of wind there. Security peace of mind. If you're in, not so much the landscape, the Lake District, the Peak District, or anywhere like that, Snowdonia, more for, I want to get into street photography a lot more this year. Well, maybe next year now. And I've been to London once. There is a vlog about my first London experience actually. I will link it down below. Crowded places like that. If your camera bag opens at the front, i.e. this side, then you're vulnerable to pocketers. 
if it's a crowded area. So the back opening for me is a really, really fantastic feature. Um, the straps, pretty robust, pretty um, padded, really, you know, the, I've had this camera bag fitted with all my camera gear, uh, two tripods and all my lenses and two camera bodies. And it's it's comfortable, it's really comfortable. Again, as I said earlier, you've got padded area here for the back, you've got little grooves for ventilation up your back. Um, again, nice feature. I will say one one little negativity if you like. The waist strap just they aren't padded. I don't know if you can see there. They aren't padded, which is unfortunate. Um, I mean, you, you, could, you could add your own if you wanted to, but that is a little bit of a niggle for me. But that said, on the belt strap, they have these little, don't know if you can see them, little those things there. Can you see those? I'm not sure you can. They just added little extra sliding straps if you like for, for this loose bit here when you there's nothing worse when you're walking this is this is quite a big bag there's nothing worse when you're walking and you have these little bits flapping about on your waist it's awful but with this you can actually slide to the end and it prevents that so no more flapping about in the wind it's little features little features like that fantastic that's the back. The top, now then, this for me is fantastic. The, the top handle where you pick up from, nine times out of ten, the stitching on this is absolutely solid. You, know, you, can, you can really give that the beans and that is going nowhere. The, the, in the right hands, possibly not mine, but in the right hands, there's no reason why this bag should not last a long, long time. The stitching, for me, is pretty good. It really is pretty good. Onto the front. Now this has a, a front clip for a tripod. Now, that is good and it is bad and I'll explain why. On the sides, you have your pouches with a strap at the top so you can put two tripods on there or if you choose to you could put one in here my only little niggle is on the bottom you see you're wondering you put your tripod in there it'll just flap about here at the bottom but at the bottom there there's a velcro release and you pull out this little pouch which hangs there and that's got a little insert for your bottom of your tripod. But my only concern with that is, if your tripod is here, the bottom of it is here, and the bottom of the bag is here, when you go to put that down on a flat surface, your tripod is going to hit the ground. I will, I will try and fit a, a tripod to it in a second, and explain that a bit better. But that's a little, a little worry for me. Um, so it may well be the side pouches for my tripods. In the bottom, with the little pouch, is your, your bog standard rain cover. We won't go into that. A rain cover is a rain cover. Um, zips. These are quite, again, quite... The, quite big on the end to grab hold of which I find is, is really handy especially in the winter time if you've got gloves on they're quite easy to get hold of and the really smooth you know the floor very easy not a problem with that whatsoever the front the front pouch again like I've just said opens quite easy but if you do notice it only goes perhaps two thirds of the way down. This is the top, 
and it stops here but yet the bottom of the bag is here so it's a good four or five inches that's unfortunate the reason I say it's unfortunate is because if you want to open this pouch you pull it forward to get into there the minute you leave go it goes back up see you leave go it goes back up I mean that the front part which by the way is it actually expands at the front by again a couple of inches there is no reason whatsoever that I won't be able to get in there raincoat uh, an umbrella rain jacket I've just covered that <laughs> rain trousers waterproof trousers uh, some sandwiches you know for a long day out in the in the lakes perhaps um, they actually open up like so and it does get a lot deeper there is little compartments for memory cards batteries pens but everything else my batteries and stuff like that that's all in the, the main compartment um, so that's that's very handy you could quite happily take this on an overnight trip to do some cityscape some city shooting street photography you could easily get a change of clothes a wash bag and a towel in this front part here not a problem and that is something I will be doing when this whole fiasco is over um, anything else? Ah, the inside. Now, the inside of a camera bag is pretty much bog standard, let's be honest. So this is not going to be any groundbreaking experience. So, it's your bog standard inside. Now, I have two, four, I have six compartments and for my lenses and everything else and two for my bodies, camera bodies um, the top part here that's quite handy as well um, this part here you could get what else could you get in there? A, a bear box, more clothing you could get more clothing packed up quite nicely in there uh, as well as like I said the front um, yeah you could get a lot of clothing packed into the back of this again adds more padding so that's a bonus your tension straps the three of those um, very handy to keep everything compact it is quite deep um, <laughs> actually I have a tape measure here uh, it is actually six and a half inches deep so that's that's very handy uh, dimensions if you're interested whilst I've got the tape measure is uh, 12 inches wide and 19 and a half inches height if you're interested in the diam diam <laughs> if you're interested in the specs of height depth and width cable now why is there a charging USB cable in my bag? It's actually fitted to the bag. It comes on the inside. This comes with the bag. It's fitted on the inside. Now, if you look on here, above one of the pouches, is a USB port to come out. You can actually charge your batteries or your camera or perhaps even your phone via this on site um, obviously just your phone if you're if the bags on your back and you're walking through the streets of, of London Manchester wherever you can charge your phone for what well, I use my phone is for for GPS and for maps to get around big cities like that as I'm not from around there very very handy but we if you phone is fully charged like I say there's no reason why you couldn't put your camera batteries in their holder secure them so they don't fall out put them in the side pouch put them on charge and off you go you wouldn't be able to know there were camera batteries so again a security aspect 
But that's a handy little feature. Probably won't use it a lot because I do have um, pa battery packs, battery charger ports. So yeah, um, that is my Ortex camera backpack. Now, all I need to do is to be able to get out and use it. Because, like I say, I've had this for two or three weeks now. And personally, it's driving me mad. I understand that it's, it's these restrictions are for our own benefit. Um, none more so than myself. I'm actually a hospital porter up in North Cumbria in the UK. So I see it first hand, these, this awful virus. Um, so if a small sacrifice to pay is not go out doing photography, then, then I don't need that. That's a small sacrifice to pay, being, ha having to stay indoors, then so be it. But with that said guys, I will end it here. I hope you, your friends, your family, I hope everybody your loved ones are all safe. I really do. Um, my thoughts are with you. Every one of you. Um, but on a positive. Let's finish on a positive shall we. We still have a few more months of summer and autumn. So fingers crossed. We all get to get out there. And capture our surroundings. Fingers crossed guys. Let's stay positive. Let's stay very very positive listen guys thank you ever so much for watching i really do appreciate it again thanks to my new subscribers and thanks to my regular subscribers until next time guys i'm daniel bennett and i will see you next time bye for now